Oh my gosh. This is about as hot in here as the workouts. Last one. Let's do it. Final week of the open, 24.3. Yes. This workout is kind of like what you expect from an open workout. Yeah, I mean, this is what we all expected. Thrusters yep. and pull-up variations. Sort of new if you keep track of the years. We did ring muscle-ups last year, mm -hmm. so we really did know we were going to see some bar muscle-ups. Some sort of, of rig or pulling movement. Yeah, and they blessed us with two types of movements on the bar today. And I, you know, I'm really excited about this workout. It's following this theme that we've seen so far of approachability. You know, there's, yeah. there's, it's a little bit of a, you know, a longer time. You got 15 total minutes. Yep. There is going to be break in the middle, so yep. you have you know a first target, and then you have a second target, and it's going to allow for a lot of people to surprise themselves on their pull-ups. Yeah. It's going to allow a lot of people to surprise themselves on muscle-ups. Yeah. It's going to be a chance for people to potentially surprise themselves with how well they can do on thrusters. Yeah, whether, whether you're an RX athlete uh, that can, you know, if you're going to go RX and, 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 or you're going to go scaled, it's really not an absurd weight. Right. You know, in class, guarantee any athlete doing the black, mm -hmm. the brown, is typically going to see a 95-pound thruster. Sure. So you should not be scared of these first five rounds. Now, getting into that 135 post 50 thrusters, 50 pull-ups, yes, I can see where that weight's going to feel heavier. But don't be timid around the first five rounds. Yeah, yeah. two sets of five rounds. The yeah. first is going to be... 10 thrusters, lighter weight, and then we're getting into 10 chest of bar pull-ups for RX. Then after that, we've got a one minute rest, which is probably the worst. There's yeah, no, so one minute rests are not rest. That's enough time for you to realize how much you're hurting <laughs> and then jump back in. Yep. But remember, it's a one minute minimum rest, right? So if you need more time, take right. more time. Right. Then we've got five more rounds, seven thrusters. So you're a little bit down on the reps, a little bit up on the weight. And then we've got the elusive bar muscle ups. I know yep. a lot of athletes have been working on muscle ups. This is your opportunity. This is a chance for you to get that adrenaline spike with all the people rooting you on in the open, potentially get your first bar muscle up. Yep, or if you've got it. one, there's a chance for you to get that first time where you do a workout with bar muscle ups instead of it just being a skill that you practice. When you're looking at this workout, your pacing and how you should go about this is going to be really based on where you are with muscle ups. Yep, that's so it. for the RX athletes, and Pearson will talk about our skills, for the RX athletes, if you have no bar muscle ups and you're not close, that's perfectly fine. There's going to be a tiebreaker time, more than likely, like right after, yep, right when you finish that first five. So if you know like, hey, I do not have bar muscle ups, but I'm willing to try, and I'm just gonna try to get the best score I can, there's no reason for you to pace the first part. You want to come out and think about it like Fran. It needs to be aggressive. Right. And then get that good tie break time. Then take your rest. You've only got seven reps of that heavier weight thruster, which right. you can take your time doing that. And then from there, if you want to work on trying a bar muscle up, you may surprise yourself. That may be the adrenaline spike you need to get there. Yeah. If you kind of have bar muscle up, so you got one or two, you again want to, hello lights. We lost power. We did. If you've got some bar muscle ups, then you want to go at a slightly slower pace so that yep. you have some energy to be able to try to get as many as you can. Yep. Because if you got some, you don't want to yep. have none. Right? right. So you want to leave yourself to where you have some. Right. And again, that minute rest, like Travis said in the beginning, does not mean you have to go three, two, one, go on the second round. If you know you've got some muscle ups in the bag, you can rest a little longer because you're going to have some time to work. Right. Get through those seven thrusters and then spend the time on those next seven muscle-ups. Yep. If you've got bar muscle-ups, you're somebody that's doing bar muscle-ups in class, then you are going to want to pace the slowest out of the three. Now, I'm not saying snail's pace, but yep. out of the three categories, that's the person that's going to want to pace that beginning so that when they get to the second part, they're allowed to use that thr that muscle-up as your separator. Yep. So you don't want to have muscle-ups and then go so hard in the beginning that you don't have them, or you get way less than you're capable of in the end. Yeah. Um, real quick, before we jump into scale, for the muscle-up athletes that that have them and aren't, aren't sure how many they're going to get, or for the muscle-up athletes that know that they can get pretty far into that second half, continue to focus on technique. Body's going to be tired. We're going to be fran lunged. We're going to be exhausted. Lats are going to hurt. Focus on technique. Rely on technique, and you will surprise yourself. I think if, you, if you go back to basics... 
you will surprise yourself. Is it getting hot in here? It's getting so hot. Scaled athletes, uh, females at the beginning, you're going to use a 45-pound bar, right? Males, you will use a 55-pound bar. And in those first five rounds, you're going to do jumping chest to bar. So anything below the collarbone touching that bar is perfect. That's a jumping chest to bar. Next five rounds is going to be our, our higher skill, right? So we're going to go 65 pounds for the females, 95 pounds for the males, and y'all are all doing chin over bar pull-ups, which is what we just call kipping pull-ups, butterfly pull-ups. So with okay. those, for those athletes that are that are working on pull-ups, right? So I know a lot of folks, that's a goal is to try to get their yeah. first pull-up. Yep. This again, another great opportunity to surprise yourself, potentially get your first pull-up, or see how close you are in a workout with getting your first pull-up. But either way, whether you're doing RX or scaled, I want you guys to approach this workout with excitement. I know a yeah. lot of people see yeah. thrusters and they think, oh my gosh, thrusters, least favorite movement, it's so hard. Or they see pull-ups or muscle-ups and they kind of have that freak out moment. If you've never had one of those, op those open experiences where it's like that amazing moment of yeah. the open, your first something, yeah. that surprise, like I can't believe I did that, this is your week. This is that week where the athletes that are right on the cusp of these things or maybe don't even realize how close they are, yeah. This is where you guys are going to shine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just remember, community is going to cheer for you just as loud as you get getting your first bar muscle up. Same thing as you getting your first pull up. Yeah. Right? It's all the same. We're all working towards a similar goal to improve. The open is strictly for improvement. And the open is about community. It's not about the 0.01% 0 .01 that we see on YouTube. It's all about the gym community. I think FitStop does it best. We're going to have another huge night. And we're going to have, we're gonna have we got food potluck. So we yep. got our teams. Don't forget you got your foods. And also we got our final costume contest. Yep. Next teams. Awesome. Show up early. Uh, roll out your lats, your upper body. Get the squat depth ready to go. Make sure you're ready to, to put that barbell overhead. And then definitely get on the rig. Work through some kipping motions to get that dynamic movement. If you're going to be doing butterfly pull-ups or kipping pull-ups. Um, if you're going to be doing the jumping pull-ups, make sure we got the right box height. We want to make sure we set those things up. And if you have any question about anything, grab a coach so we can help guide you through it. Yeah, it's going to be an awesome send-off. I'm excited, man. I'm Final ready. week. Look Let's forward go. to seeing you guys tomorrow. Have a great night, and best of luck in the workout. Let's go. See y'all.